Hey everyone, Benjamin here. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to create a professional Instagram story design inside of Canva. So open Canva and let's start designing. Okay, so before we get started, Instagram story is one of the interesting type of posts you should be making if you are active on Instagram because it really helps you to boost engagement and helps you to interact with your audience. And with what we are going to do, it's a way to promote live events inside of Instagram. So let's say you're about to have an event, whether I'm going live on Instagram or maybe any type of event at all, you know, usually posting it on your Instagram story is a very interesting way to make your audience aware of what's about to happen. So let's just do something inside of Canva you know using all of this concept we have in mind so let's open canva and let's start designing okay so you can see this is what we are about to do and the dimension is quite different from what we usually do and with this particular design the dimension we're going to be using is the 1080 by 1920 okay so it's actually the reverse dimension for videos okay so let's dive and um, let's continue okay so i just have to create a new page and this is looking very interesting so i'll start off with my background so i'll just click on my canvas then i'll come to colors you know in colors i'm not going to use white it's just a little bit of an off-white so f4 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 is a color to go okay so then after we do that the next thing we just have to do is to come into my upload but you would have to go on elements.theafricangeeks.com and search for the instagram ring okay and the other thing you would have to search for is 3d instagram logo so try to search for that as well okay so after you do that um you know i'm sure by now you have found it so i'll just scroll quickly to find my you know instagram ring so here i am with it and you can see how it's looking at the moment so i'll just zoom in a little bit so that we can actually have a feel of what we are doing and i'll position it here okay so then i will just add any photo of my choice and in this case you can also add any photo of your choice it can be photos of you or maybe any photo of anyone else uh, maybe the guest speaker or so that that would be a very good thing to actually add in your design okay so i will just select any of this i think i usually like this one with a serious face even though from the initial one i use you know myself smiling but i think i'll go with this so what i just have to do is to come to edit image and as usual if you always follow me you know that we love to remove background images and while we are removing the background image of our photo i want to introduce canva pro to you because i still believe canva pro is something you should be using by now because look it comes with so many features like removing the background images you know publishing directly from canva to any social media platform when it comes to adding multiple brand having a lot of animation options including custom fonts look there's just so many things you can actually do with canva pro and that's why i always 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 mention them in my videos so i have a link in the description box below that can help you use canva pro for free the next thing i want to talk to you about is the template i've created 20 easy to edit templates that would actually save you time on any design at all you want to make and the link can also be found in the description box below let's dive back into canva because i see canva has been able to remove the background of my image successfully all right so this is how it's looking and this is what we are going to do this actually involves a little bit of um technique and you have to really pay attention to every single step i'm actually going to take to make the design i showed you earlier okay now that we have it looking like this what we are going to do is we'll duplicate the ring okay and place it directly on top you know something like this then we'll crop it all the way to you know this point okay so that it's covering just this part of us you understand then duplicate it again and this will actually depend on the type of image you have okay so once i do that i will crop it this way okay then i will crop this part downwards okay because at this point in time i just want just the bottom part of this to also show so now that we have it like this what i would have to do is i would have to shift my image in a little bit okay so you can see how i'm trying to make things work out over here so i'll just you know crop my image slightly you know and this would actually require you to be very intentional on certain things you will be doing maybe what i can also do is i can just duplicate it again position it here okay and then um, just to make sure everything is aligned properly okay like this i would drag this here and um you know just to make sure this part is being covered well okay so when i move it closely just to make sure that it's aligned properly so you can see what we have been able to do so it's just a matter of 
um, you being very intentional on everything you are doing here so let me just delete this one for now and this is what we have so i'll select everything here okay and i'll resize it a little bit and position it here and what we can also do to make everything clean is would we'll, you know just resize this part like this okay so that everything can look compact okay yeah so i'll just speed up the whole process of me trying to do the cleanup Then I'll just group everything and once I group everything, this is just one you know, single element. Okay, so I position it here and it's now basically up to us to add our text. So, you know, depending on what you're making this design for, you can use any text at all of your choice. Okay, so I will skip the part of me adding my text because I believe, you know, it's some things you can do. Okay. So you can see I've added my text. I'll select everything and move it up a little bit. And you can see I left the child over here. <laughs> okay, so I'm using the Poppins extra board. Okay, and this one is followed by Poppins. And this is also Poppins. So, you know, just in a, um, a way to implement the hierarchy design principle. You know, that's why I'm doing things this way. So the main heading should take a border font followed by the subheading followed by the body text. Okay, so that's what you need to have in mind. So let me just center all of this like this and you can see this is actually looking very beautiful so we want to add a call to action so come here into element and um, you just go into line and shapes okay once you click on line and shape you should be able to see so many beautiful shapes you always get to see click on any of them you know to add it to your design and you can position it somewhere here so i'll just zoom in more and i'll scroll down then i'll resize this button to something like this okay and i can just center the whole thing like that <laughs> I will change the color to black or black depending on where you are from. <laughs> Duplicate any of this and position it on top or you can just, you know, click and just say swipe. But because of what we would want to do, you know, I just don't want us to go through so many processes. Okay, so I can just say swipe or maybe let me just make it all small letters. Okay, so swipe up. Okay, I know there's a feature Instagram has abandoned, but we'll just use it here once um this is just a design we're making okay so i'll just come here and i will reduce the letter spacing to zero because i actually added some letter spacing here just to make our text look more interesting okay so i'll change the color here to white okay and i would position it here you know and center it here come back into element just to find arrow so search for arrow then you see that there are just so many arrows over here so come into graphics and in graphics you can you know take your time to find any arrow you would want but this is the arrow i would like but this is the arrow i would like to use okay so you know i have it selected over here it's looking too big at the moment so what we have to do is to the size of the arrow and we would you know rotate it to 90 degrees and drop it down like that okay so i will use the size more and position it here so that it can be seen you understand so you can see how beautiful this is looking okay then just to make everything look very sweet so i now so i now can select everything here and group them so that you know they are just one whole element okay so there's so there are two extra things we have to do then we can wrap up with this video the first thing we would want to do is to come into uploads but you would have to go to the element the african gigs.com and i'm sure you've downloaded it by now and uh, it's just about the 3d instagram icon i want you to have downloaded okay so i will just you know come here in my upload i have it somewhere at the top you should have it without a background if you downloaded it from the element website you understand so i will just you know come to edit image and i would remove the background of this once the background is removed i'll just click on apply and canvas should be able to save our uh, design okay then i will just crop this you know and spread them across cross our design so one can be here i can rotate it like this duplicate it reduce the size you know something like this position it here duplicate it again you know just play around you know this icon at this point okay so you can just do anything creative you would like to do at this point okay so this is one out of two let me just i think i feel like adding one more over here yeah i think this is this is good uh, yeah i'm enjoying it then i think i can even use the flip yeah so that things gets to look interesting like this okay now i think i love this so what we are going to do next is on group okay everything we have over here so just on group then make sure you're selecting what's behind okay so i think i have it selected come to edit image okay and look for shadow so you can just search for shadow over here okay and i will click on see all i would like us to use the backdrop shadow so click on the backdrop shadow and canvas should apply it to you know to the circle okay so then i click on it again and um with the vertical angle 
I would increase the vertical angle so that you can see how it's going to look like. So you see, so this is just about us playing around it to make sure we are doing something we like. Then I'll increase the blurriness of the shadow. Then I would, you know, reduce the transparency of it so that you know it's not too obvious in our design you know because some things are not supposed to be so obvious in our design then i just click on apply and after i do that i have to make sure canva saves our designs and yes so just in case you're looking at having more canva tutorials there are two things i want to do the first thing is to like this video to help this video reach more canva designers and the second thing i'd like you to do is to smash the subscribe button if you are new the name is benjamin don't forget to try canva pro and always remember there is no limit to creativity i should see you in my next video.